six months ago here, I, I mentioned a, a great article which I read in a magazine about one lady who had done an article on one of these water parks where they were training dolphins. They were training dolphins actually to jump through hoops. And she did an in-depth um, investigation on actually how do you train these animals to do these tricks, you know, like play a uh, water polo or something. And what she found out was basic psychology and she thought, wow this is so good, I can try this on my husband. <laughs> and exactly the same tricks which were used to train dolphins, she tried on her husband and she said it worked perfectly. <laughs> And it was just basic mindfulness. Whenever her husband did something stupid, she would completely ignore it. Instead of actually, you know, her husband sort of getting upset at her, instead of getting upset back, she stopped that whole negative process and just ignored him. Just the same when the dolphins did a mistake, they weren't punished, they weren't shouted, they just ignored them. So when somebody, you can train your wife as well, it works both ways, this is not just... <laughs> Whenever you, you're somebody who does something you don't like, a sort of behaviour you don't want to encourage, ignore it. Don't give them a response. And when they do something, when that dolphin jumps a little bit higher, a little bit closer to the loop, hoop, then you give them a fish. So you have to get plenty of fishes to train your husband <laughs> or your wife. Whatever it is, you know what I mean, like a little reward. Because the positive response is always far more effective, the positive rewards. And you can actually see this happen, but to be able to give those positive rewards, you've got to be mindful enough and kind enough to make this wonderful Buddhist combination, not just mindfulness, but with kindness as well. Put those two together there, so you're aware and you're kind. <laughs>